Welcome, my name is Nick and this is Nick's Fort and today I am super stoked to share with you this color grading tip. So you can take a still frame from your video and you can create a LUT from that in Photoshop. I, I love that this is a feature and a thing that you can do. So if you're a legend in Photoshop, well then today's your lucky day. And if you're not, that's okay. I'm gonna walk you through a quick and simple approach to creating a LUT in Photoshop that then you can apply to your video in a non-linear editing platform. I'm gonna use Premiere Pro in this example, but you should be able to use whatever you want. It gives you so much creative freedom and the basic foundation should work kind of no matter what and for everyone. So. Yeah, this is awesome. All right, so we are here in Premiere Pro and we have this clip right here of my forerunner shredding on this dusty, dirty back road in the middle of Washington. And this is an ungraded clip that was filmed with a Phantom 4 Advanced. So there's no grade on this. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to watch my clip. And so after I watch my clip, I'm going to pick a frame that I'm going to bring into Photoshop to do this color grade on. And I think I'm going to pick this frame right here. We have some deeper shadows in the trees here. We have most of the sky. We have this hill in the background. We have the majority of our plants and stuff here. We've got some shadows in here. We have some highlights on the edge of the truck. So I think this is a good representation of the shot. So I'm gonna go over here and click this little camera button. It's gonna bring up this export menu. I'm gonna make sure TIFF is selected. And then I'm going to choose my path here. If you hit browse, it'll let you select where you want it to go. Desktop works for now. And then I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna rename this. And once I've renamed my clip, I'm gonna hit okay. So now I'm gonna go to Explorer. I'm gonna find that TIFF right here and I'm gonna go open with Photoshop. That's gonna open it up in Photoshop and now I have my selected image in Photoshop. I'm gonna go over here to adjustments, click that tab, and then you're gonna do a levels right here. And then you're gonna go over here to the auto button. You're gonna hold down the alt slash option key and you're gonna click auto with that held down. It's gonna open up this little menu right here and inside of this menu, you're going to select Enhance Per Channel Contrast. And then you're gonna go down here and hit Snap Neutral Midtones. Okay, and you can see that that made some, some changes here to my image. And this approach right here is a good approach when you have a problem image and you're not sure how to fix it. This might work, it might work, okay? It's not gonna work every time. Uh, but it's worth trying if you're having trouble grading something. You can come in here and you can do this and it might magically make it better. For this image, it did a pretty good job in terms of the before and after. We can do that right here, toggle this on and off. It's not the worst. It, I would say it's not the best either. So that might be the only fix you do. So quick interruption, I've done a ton of other tutorials on color grading. I'll link below to a playlist of those. And I'll also pop some links up above here so you guys can check those out. And if you are interested, I will also leave a link below to my LUTs that I have created. So if you are a Photoshop guru, then you're going to have an immense amount of fun inside of here with this ability to make LUTs in Photoshop. If you are not, then you're gonna use this tool like me. When you can't figure it out in Premiere Pro, you're gonna come here and see if you can find a better solution. Or sometimes maybe if you wanna come get creative and push your boundaries a little bit. So for myself, I'm gonna do that levels automatic move first, see what that does. And then the next step for me is hitting the hue and saturation. It's gonna bring another layer down here of hue and saturation. And what I'm gonna do for this image is I'm gonna kinda give it a little bit of a, a different look here. I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna drop down into my cyans, and then here's a little hack that my buddy Greg showed me. If you drag your saturation all the way to the right, you're gonna see the image affected in that color space specifically. So you'll know that this, anything we see here that's crazy looking is the saturation. Uh, on the cyan specifically. So that that's what we're gonna be adjusting when we make adjustments to that. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. I'm gonna put that back to zero. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shift those a little bit. Oh, hold on. I, I gotta turn off this light in my office real quick. All right. So 
I'm gonna shift this around and see how that affects the sky. And I kinda, kinda like it pushing it that way a little bit. That looks towards the green. And then I'm gonna drop this down and I'm gonna take a look at my yellows. And again, I'm gonna slide this all the way to the right. And all of this, it will, there's a lot of yellow in there, okay? So I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna see if I shift those towards green. Ooh, that kind of looks like trash. And if I go this way, kind of brings them, makes them a little bit more vibrant going to the right and a little more green. I kind of like that a little bit. Okay, that looks good. And then I'm gonna drop this down, check out my reds, same thing. And I'm gonna kind of work through each one of these and this looks almost like a little like too magenta to me. So let's see what it looks like when we shift this. Oh, kind of right, maybe right, right there. And then I'm gonna desaturate that just a, actually I'm gonna desaturate that kind of a lot. I kind of, kind of like how that looks. Maybe I'm gonna do half of what I like. That's usually a good rule for me. Um, so I'm gonna bring that down to negative 12. Let's see what the greens look like in this. Okay, so those are pretty deep in the trees there. Now, I'm gonna leave those alone. And let's see, blues. A lot of blue up in that sky. Let's bring those blues. Whoa, whoa, that's pretty, that's pretty wild looking right there. Um, and then let's look at the magentas. Okay, there's not too much going on there. I'm gonna desaturate those just a little bit. Make those tires like kind of like pop out as like black tires and less, like less magenta. I'm gonna go back to my reds. Again, I wanna look at what I'm hitting with those. Okay. I kind of made this like custom look with my shot here. I'm gonna go back to my levels here. And then if I hold alt down on my keyboard and then I click on the tail end of this, this is gonna show me my blacks that are getting crushed. So as I slide this to the left, we're starting to crush all those blacks in the trees. Uh, I'm going to do just, just a smidge, uh, like right there. Those, so those are going to be pure black in the tree. And actually I'm going to pull it back just a little bit. I don't really, I'm not really super stoked on that. And then we're going to do it on the other end. We're getting that on the, on the front of the truck there. I'm going to basically leave that where it was. And then this middle one, I'm going to slide. Ooh, yeah, there's a little more contrast when I push it that way. I kind of like that. Okay, so let's let's see what this looks like. If I hold Alt and click this eyeball next to my layer, it's gonna toggle off the other two. So we have a, a decent before and after of our look, and we've we've made significant changes to the sky, the way the trees look, the the tones and the grass here, and the tires, uh, and the contrast of the whole image. So I think that's pretty cool, right? So let's say I like that. I wanna bring that back into Premiere Pro as my LUT. I'm gonna go up to layer, I'm gonna to go to new, and then do background from layer. You have to do this step with your layer selected on the right hand side. It's gonna turn it into a background as you can see over here. You have to do that. If you don't do it, this isn't gonna work. And then you're gonna go over here and you're gonna go down to export, color lookup tables, and then you're gonna select cube right there. And you're gonna have your description of your lookup table here, and then I'm gonna hit okay. That's gonna bring up uh, where I'm gonna save that. So then I'm gonna put LUT on the tail end of this, save it, and then I'm gonna go back over to Premiere Pro. And now we have our clip right here. And if I select my clip, I'm in color. There's two input spots for LUTs. One's right here un under input, under basic, and then there's also one under creative. I'm gonna put it into the creative one. I'm gonna go to browse, desktop, I have my LUT there, drop it in. And so now we can see our LUT. Wow, look at that on the window, the reflection of this coming off the window, that's crazy. So we have our LUT on there now and we can actually adjust the intensity of the LUT to where we like it. And then if I go up here, I can toggle it on and off and we can have a good look at how that worked out. If you found that helpful, please share this with a friend, drop a comment below, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, notifications, all that good stuff. And if you have some other thoughts on this workflow or any ideas about color grading in, in Photoshop, drop a comment below about that. And most importantly, get out there, film some stuff, create some stuff, apply this to your workflow and keep creating. Peace. Let, 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 like a legend.
Mm. Oh, there's beets in that smoothie. You know, beets in the smoothie sounds like a really good idea when you're like, oh, I want to be healthy. But at the end of it, when it's like kind of warmed up and you're just <sighs> washing it down with some 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 lukewarm coffee too. 